That's perfect, Penny. Cover as much grass as you can to stop the fire spreading. Got it, Sam. Gridlington! Now what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's just that it's so hot and the water feels so nice. Well done, Elvis. Thanks, son. I don't know why you wanted to have our barbecue all the way out here at the ruins. Because it's nice and quiet, with no one around. And no one can see our ridiculous barbecue. I heard that, but I don't know what you mean. This will be the best barbecue in Ponty Pandy. Oh, no! <laughs> Everybody, it's Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. No, stay there. I'll come over to you. What's your dad building now, Hannah? Uh, nothing. Let's go and have a look. What? No. Hi, kids. Do you want to see my solar-powered barbecue? Yes, please, Joe. I call it the Sunomatic GTC. This big silver bowl collects sunlight, then focuses it right here. Why can't we just have a normal barbecue? Does it get hot, Joe? <laughs> yes, Mandy, it does. Hot enough to cook stuff. This sausage, for example. We just pop it down right here. And watch it sizzle. Nothing's happening. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. One cloud in the sky and it just happens to come along right now. I've got an idea. Why don't we all go over to your barbecue? You know, the one with the charcoal and the heat. Good idea, Hannah. And Dad? Yes, Hannah? Please take off the hat. Come on, you like it really. Oh. Nothing like a nice, cold glass of orange juice when you've been working in the hot sun, eh, Penny? Mmm, you're right there, Sam. Um, have you lost something, Station Officer Steele? Yeah, I thought I had one of my delicious strawberry lollies in the fridge, but I can't find it. Gridlington, you're licking my strawberry sensation! I'm sorry, sir. Would you like it back? No. It's all right, Piddlington. I'll just have a glass of water. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, I was really looking forward to those. Oh! <laughs> oh, I got it! Yes! Hey! Oh! Oh, me hot! Again! So, where the Grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Uh, wait! Uh, slow down, cheese! Uh, ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. <gasps> I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no! My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> Ah! Got 
pleasure. Finally, I got you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. your toes together! <laughs> Sorry. That wasn't quite as graceful as a falling snowflake, was it, Penny? Uh, no, Elvis. Hmm. A toboggan ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. OK, actors! Get on the toboggan! We can hear you. You'll slide down this... Um, gentle slope, and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Norman Price! That was very dangerous! Oh, be quiet and look scared! Sam? <gasps> Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. Hello, Uncle Sam. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it! Oh, thanks, Penny! <laughs> right. From here, you can see lots of fascinating rock formations. He really does like your oat biscuits, Lily. Oh, no. You've run out. Let me see if I've got anything we could feed him. Oh, maybe he'd like an apple. Come on, Lily. <laughs> okay, rock spotters, on with the tour. You really do like your rocks, don't you, Moose? Oh, for sure, eh? The only thing more exciting than looking at rocks is climbing on them. Come on! That's enough, Lily. We'd better follow Moose now. 
Um... There we are. All done. All right, Radar, I'm coming. Although I don't know what could be so important. I think he's trying to tell you that your slice of jam on toast is stuck to Elvis's bottom, sir. Huh? Oh, <laughs> he's right, sir. It is. Would you like it back? No. It's OK, Quidlington. I'll go and make another slice. Clever boy, Radar. Sometimes animals know more than you think. <gasps> I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Mummy! Don't worry, Lily. We'll find them. Oh, no. I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realise how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily. What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh, no. Sarah's gone too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Pandy Pioneers are stuck in the treehouse. <gasps> the Pondy Pandy Pioneers are stuck in the treehouse, and it might fall down at any second. We'd better hurry. Thanks for the lesson, Tom. I think it might be about to come in very handy. Fireman Sam! Hurry, Uncle Sam! Oh. Quick, screw in the other end of this pole tightly to the tree. It's in tight, Sam. Well, you're all safe now. should have screwed the brace in properly, like Fireman Sam and Penny. Sorry I didn't do my job properly. You never do your job properly, Norman. Penny, help me brace the rest of the tree. Elvis, you climb up using the tree spurs and take the zipline equipment with you. There's only one way to get everyone down. Done, everyone. Right, Elvis, your turn. Uh, slowly this time. <gasps> oh. oh no, Sam, I'm stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now where would Ponty Pandy Pete hide his treasure? I'm guessing there. So we're looking for a rock that's shaped like a hooked nose. There it is! And it looks really, really scary. Treasure hunters stop at nothing to find gold, James. Come on! But what about the ghost? Don't worry. You just stay here, all by yourself. Come in, Sam. Come in, Ben. The night 
can be seen clearly at sea. Over. Copy that. Good job, Penny. You're really good at this. Over. Down the steps I go. We're almost at the rock that's shaped like a hooked nose. I think we should go back. No way! Treasure hunters never give up. Oh, Norman? This way, this way. See you. Uh oh. Norman? James? Lunch? <gasps> oh! They've gone! Missing in the fog! Oh, my Norman! Don't worry, Dillis. They can't have gone far. I'll find them. Copy that. This seems like a good time to test the foghorn. <sighs> I know. Back down. Again. Well, at least we know the foghorn works. Forty-four, forty-five, forty-five firefighter tea bags. <laughs> oh. Well done, Elvis. That was a fantastic rescue. Uh, I must say, there are times when I miss being on the front line. Uh. Norman Price is drifting out to sea. Holding onto an unmanned boat? Norman Price is drifting out to sea. Holding on to an unmanned boat. Not that far out, so I can use the harness, Elvis. I'm coming, Norman! Hang on, Norman! I'm nearly there! I can't hold on much longer! My pants are filling with water! Now there's a coat I can use. I've got you, Norman! Now hold on to me.
What kind of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium. But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher sample use. I've got it. So have I. Because when in doubt, you can fight fire with sand. You have got it. You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! <laughs> 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 Perhaps we could listen to my tape of greatest ukulele hits from around the world. No way, Trevor. We're on the One Way Street Express. Oh, I was afraid of that. Whoa, it's too icy. She's skidding. Oh, we're stuck in the snow. We're going to have to wait for help. About the concert. I know. Maybe we could walk the rest of the way. What a totally brilliant idea. But it's quite a long way. And it's really cold out. Quite right. We should stay here and wait for help. Oh, please. Mum. I don't think so, Hannah. It'll be really hard for you in your chair. I've got my snow wheels on. I'll be fine. Listen, everybody. I know it's cold. I know it's snowy, but we're so close to seeing our favourite boy band in the whole wide world. And we're going to be in the front row. We are strong women. And Trevor, we can make it through a bit of snow. Mandy's right. We can do it. Well, I suppose... If we all stick together. And it isn't that far to Newtown. And I would quite like to see them, especially Larry. Yay! Let's go! One Way Street, here we come! Oh dear. Oh, I suppose I'd better go with them and keep them safe. You, you gotta, gotta get, get where you're going. going. And keep on walking, you gotta get, get where you're going. going. Here you go, little old lady. Try these hand warmers. Oh, it's too hot! My poor little old lady head! Don't worry, station officer, little old lady. Try this lovely warm soup instead. Oh, oh hot, hot! It's too hot! My poor little old lady mouth! That little old lady is very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Ooh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we are in the front row. And look, there's Newtown. Come on. I can see a shortcut. Some seaweed. Now can we give up? No, Norman. If it wasn't for you, we would have been on Neptune and spotted it already. We've got to keep looking. Um, the sea is starting to look very rough. I really think we should go back now. Oh, actually, we'll chase the way back. There! I can see it! Stop rowing, Norman! <laughs> I 
can't wait to see this. Ooh, it's good to be on dry land again. Chicken pasta feeling better now, sir? Oh, yes, Sam. Much better. Right. I just need to find the right frequency, and we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. I can't grow for much longer, Mandy. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. Be quiet, Norman. That wasn't a turtle either. It was just a log. I want to go home. The waves are getting huge. Oh, all right, Norman. I suppose I'll never see a real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look, they're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. Right. That's about as much as I have time for this morning. Is this what you want your garden to look like, Mum? Yes, Mandy. And one day it will. But right now, I have to go to work. Have a good day, Mandy. You too, Mum. Mm. Come on, Dad. We're going to fix up the garden for Mum. Hey. Oh, I was going to have a snooze. No time today, Dad. We're going to turn this garden into Mum's dream garden. But this is everyone's dream garden. Oh! oh. Well, maybe this deck chair could do with a couple of nails in it. Dad! We're going to be getting rid of that deck chair. We are? Yes, and all the weeds and that old tyre. And we're going to make this the best and most perfect garden in Ponty Party. <laughs> Well done, Fireman Sam. Perfect. Right, Elvis. Now your turn. Okay, Nurse Flood. <laughs> um, Elvis, I think that bandage might have been a bit too long. Biddington, what's going on? I don't think he was supposed to cover up his eyes. Who turned out the lights? Where is everyone? Oh, my knee! My knee! <laughs> I think he might really need bandaging now, Elvis. Oh. Right! Team Garden Force, are you ready to do a mega garden makeover? Yes, family! James, you are doing the weeding, Sarah, you paint the bird bath, Dad, you cut the grass, and Norman, I need you to put fertilizer on the flower bed. Ready? Ready! ready. We're going to make this the best garden in Ponty Pandy. Go, team! Stinky fertilizer. Because in Team Garden Force, everyone has a job to do, and that's your job, Norman. And what are you going to be doing as part of Team Garden Force, Mandy? I'm building the fountain, so I'm off to Joe's to see if he's got a water pump I could use. Well, that sounds like an easy job to me. There are no easy jobs in Team Garden Force, Norman Price. Now go and get the rest of the fertilizer and get on with it. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll be back. Look, 
If I can grab that branch, I can stop the boat from moving. I'll help you. Ready? Now! <laughs> Don't you worry, Norris. <laughs> I've got you. I don't know how long I can hold on! They took the boat downstream. Okay. Penny, go and satin in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis, I need you to direct me through the dark. Okay, Sam. Sam. The rowing boat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 meters north, Sam, and quick! On my way. Ooh. He is doing to snare! <gasps> it's up for Sam! Gareth, I need you to tie the end of the rope to the boat! Saturn in. Everyone is safe. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to be fun, but it led us to dangerous waters. And I'm sorry too. Next time, don't go too far and always check where you're rowing. Oh, we will, Sam. We won't make that mistake again. And are you two all right? It did get a bit scary, Uncle Sam. But we did have quite a lot of fun with Station Officer Steele and Grandad. You hear that, Penny? Station Officer Steele was fun. Maybe he won't be cross that I got his report soggy and messy. Ridlington, you got my report soggy and messy? Come on, everyone. Let's get back and finish the filing. Not you, Cridlington. You can explain what you've done to my reports. Let's pull her up. I put so many props on my side of the ship, Sam. I just wanted the best pirate ship ever. Don't worry, Norman. As long as you and Hannah are both safe. That looks like the perfect pirate ship to me. <gasps> it really does. Oh, my little Norman set design is so realistic. I feel like Jimmy Deck could jump out at any moment. <laughs> Who are? I am the pirate Ponty Pandy Pete, and this is my treasure. And here comes my ship, the Ponty Pandy Bird. <laughs> Brilliant! It couldn't have gone better. I don't want my frillies flapping about in front of everybody in Ponty Pandy. Now that's entertainment. Have a pilot's license. Oh, Cloud Scraper is floating away. So, you won't be flying to the top of Ponty Pandy Mountain after all, Mandy. No, but Lumbykins will. Oh dear, he's chewing through the ropes. He could fall to the ground. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. 
Lamykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. Lamykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. <laughs> Scraper's headed for Ponty Pampy Mountain. We need to get to the mountain railroad and fast. <laughs> Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. What you are, Sam. Chewing culprit. Good work, Sam. Brilliant! Yes! Oh, that's a relief. Woohoo! It's really quick. Come on, sir. Hold it. Start the stopwatch, Mandy. I'm doing the first record breaking balloon flight from Ponty Pandy to Newtown. Someone stop to stopwatch. Well, I never realized dancing could be so much fun. <laughs> Me neither. Any more dancing, Sam? Well, okay, let's try the jive. Yay! My favorite! <laughs> Record to break, not before I do. <gasps> Baked beans, of course. That's it. A bathtub, of course. That's it. James, Sarah, over here, quick. Hi, Derek. What's happening? I need your help with this old bathtub. But quickly, I'll explain on the way. Silly old Derek. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you really think you can get the world record for riding furthest in a bathtub? That's the plan. It looks scary. Right. Give me a push. A big push. Okay. Quiddy's book of records. Here I go. Another 20 seconds, and the world record is yours! Yes! Whoa! Only five seconds to go! Oh, 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 good! 
Yes, I'm there, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going for the bridge dangling record. Norman Price. Are you sure you packed everything I need for the best sleepover ever, Mum? Of course I have, Norman. I packed your toothbrush and your comb and your teddy bear. Oh, don't pack that. I don't want to look like a baby. Have you packed my army bob pyjamas? Of course I have, my little treasure. Oh, that's my that's my now I'm off to the best sleepover ever! Who'd have thought? My little Norman stopping out all night. Oh, no! Norman! Your army bump pyjamas! Oh, dear. I wonder what pyjamas I pack then. As it's a night shift, Penny, we're really going to have to stay focused. So concentrate really hard. I will, Sam. Am I a cup of tea? Well done, Penny. And it only took you ten guesses. My turn. Uh, am I an elephant? Firefighters. Oh, Chief Fire Officer Boyce. What are you doing here, sir? Surprise, night shift, training drills. Um, you seem to have some, uh, paper thingies on your, uh, on your heads. Ah, oh. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, uh, sometimes on a night shift we play What Am I? It helps us stay alert, sir. Ooh, a bit of brain training. I like it. Right. All we have to do is wait for your mum and dad to go to bed and then we can have the best sleepover ever. I'm so excited. It's a good job I don't have big baby pyjamas like you two. These aren't baby pyjamas. Neither of these. Well, they are compared to my pyjamas. Oh, no. My mum packed my cuddly sheep pyjamas. Uh, everybody, look over there. <gasps> what? Oh, no. I'm getting up. <laughs> I'm at the platform, Ben, but there's no sign of Mike. Maybe he's jumped overboard, Sam. I'll take a look around. I'll hold her steady. Penny, Elvis, you direct the cannons. Help! I'm over here! Oh, I got me whistle. Coming, Mike. Sam. I've got you, Mike. Nice job, Ben. Oh, thanks, Bronwyn. Sorry about your fireworks, Mike. It was my fault. I should have been more careful with me button. Well, it was a bit choppy out there. Probably a Force 3. Does that mean there won't be any fireworks, Mike? I'm afraid it does, James. The ocean of flame will never be seen. It might, Mike. If I help you, we can go out on Titan. Oh, I love a fishy nibble. Don't you, Trevor? Uh, Little brown eel slips into the pool. <clears throat> you should do the honours, Sam. I will, sir. Attention, everybody. Oh, what's going to happen? I now declare the Ponty Pandy Ocean Rescue Centre open. Hooray! <laughs> and we're off. That really does look like an ocean of flame, Mike. But this time, I won't put it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm stuck again. <laughs> Help. Don't 
let it blow up. Three, two, one. Please don't let it blow up. Ignition! Towards the key. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. He's gone off the end, eh? <gasps> He's heading out to sea. I usually do that. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Joe Sparks is heading out to sea at speed on a rocket powered hover cart. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. I might need backup. Sam, I didn't think it would go as fast as that. That's all right, Joe, as long as you're OK. Well, I have to say it was faster than mine. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Uh, no, you two. And the winner of this year's Ponty Pandy Cup is... Norman Price. Oh, Hooray! Yeah. Hooray! My Norman has won something at last, with no cheating or naughty tricks or taking my things without asking. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Good job you're wearing waterproof, Spad. Did we win? Oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> and then radar will get in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> radar, stop! Come back! Uh, well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? Round three, the 100 meter pet and dash. 20 bonus points to the winner. Ready, steady, go! In dear off and racing. Mandy and Nippa take the lead, followed by Sarah and Lion. Coming in at third place is Norman and Woolly, who stops to eat some tucker. Come on, Woolly! And racing up the rear is Norris, fast as lightning. Oh, Nippa would go so much faster if I wasn't holding him back. Nippa, if I let you off the lead, do you promise to behave? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Run like the wind, boy! <laughs> Keep running! Fire at the whole fish cafe. A nipper and lion are trapped inside.
can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. Uh, He's boring! Stop that infernal racket! Uh, Elvis, that is quite enough. The boy's gone do lelly. Oh, my nerves are in shreds and the shreds are in tatters. Elvis. If you carry on like this, you're going to lose your job. Okay, fossil hunters, lunch is over. Let's get going. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> ah, what the grizzly? Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I think so, but I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh, no. I hope my fossils aren't broken. We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's OK, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. <laughs> Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. you out of here. It's no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. It says that you press the Activation button twice to enter the menu mode. Which one is that? I don't know, Penny. Ah, how are you two getting on? W well We're completely stuck. Hmm, it looks like you press the red button to open the menu. Then you change the settings by using the yellow and blue buttons. It's working. Maybe playing with giant vegetables can come in handy after all. I'm so cold and wet that I lost my recorder when the boat capsized. I'll never record a whale now. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have tried to take over the boat. Don't worry, Ben. No. You're the captain of this vessel, Charlie, and clearly know the waters around Ponty Pandy better than anyone. So? What are we going to do? Will someone come and find us? I'm sure they will, love. 
But till then, we need to keep our spirits up. How, Ch Charlie? Like all those Ponty Pandy sailors of long ago did, by singing the Ponty Pandy Sea Shanty. I'm not sure I know that one. Don't worry, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> Set a course for the coast, a fair Ponty Pandy. Look out for the lights that are bringing me home. For I have been sailing to lands far and distant, but I will return for a wasteland and home. So great! Teaching Albus and Penny how to use the sonar. Better than fighting giant carrots. Way, Way better! better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lot. You haven't seen Charlie and Bronnie, have you? They're not at the cafe. That's strange. They should have been back hours ago. Gareth, can you look after Sarah and James? I'll call for help. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea? sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam. Wallaby one. Charlie Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. an inflatable rescue path! Ooh! Whoa! Whoa. Tie it to the end of the jetty, Penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here. Elvis, you helped me complete the winter training. And I agree, the inflatable rescue path is better than totally brilliant. Now, you three, you must remember that frozen lakes are not safe to play on. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. I shouldn't have wanted to show off my brilliant ice skating. I meant to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Aha! They'll never find me in there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. 
go pants. Oh, they're clawing up my leg. Ah, oh, I'm balancing my pants. Ah! Where can he be? We've looked everywhere. There we are. The sausages are ready. Ooh, uh. What's that? That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh! oh, Trevor, you saved my life. My precious boy, what's happened to you? Trevor! The camping stool! Oh my, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. There we are, perfect. Ah, solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Dennis and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire, and Trevor did it, and the children are trapped. We've got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know. Oh, Trevor, you are so brave. It's Bird and Sam! If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam. Come